Hey everybody and welcome to another episode of Deck and Around Deck Specs. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Butterfly Playing Cards by Andrei Pshinichka. But before we jump into it, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. And please ring the bell. So Steve, why don't you tell us a little bit about this deck? First, I want to say congratulations on, I think, nailing Andre's last name. We, we tried. There was a lot of practice that went into that, so hopefully we got it right. <laughs> Shanichka. Okay. Well, ho hopefully we got it right. Uh, we might get a uh, message from him saying, you know, you guys were still wrong, but that's okay. Uh, we tried. So, yeah, for sure. So these two decks that you see here are printed by Katamundi on Slimline B9 stock, and they are black and gold and a black and silver. They have foil on the back and foil on the face cards as well. And these two editions are both gilded, one in gold and one in silver. Nice. Let's check them out. As you can see here, the tucks are matte black, both beautiful. Um, I did, it, it does have a seal on the back, but I actually, taking it off, I put it on the back of the tuck. But the inside of the tuck is fully foiled, beautiful design. And that carries on to the back of the the card itself. Yeah, these things are As blinding. You can see, it's, oh man, they're so beautiful. It, you definitely feel like you're rich when you open up this deck of cards. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, a really cool fact about these cards is they're they're all mocked. Uh, there is an unmarked edition if that's what you prefer, uh, but the they are marked and they Pharaoh handle perfectly even though they're gilded as you can see here nice yeah i was completely shocked that they they handle so well there's your jokers one of them is silver foil and the other one is just black ink ace of spades is so beautiful and so detailed the amount of foil throughout this whole deck is just like amazing yeah it's really really pretty i love how the silver and black and uh, kind of contrast each other and like you love uh, you know you have your single pips that are enlarged rather than just the standard pips yeah on the pieces yeah it looks so good uh, yeah the silver foil uh, against the blue is so beautiful too as you can see they're standard court cards because this definitely is a magician's deck Andre being a magician and it comes with a double backer as well. I just, yeah, it's it's funny to see because a lot of times you look at like uh, metallic ink, which always looks so good, but then you see something that's full foil like this and it's just, it's mind blowing. Yeah. And, you know, not all decks that have foil look good with foil. And, and this deck is just so stunning. Yeah. No, this was, this was made to be foiled. Yeah. And it handles like it's not foiled, which is, which is surprising. Yeah. Which is really impressive. And here's that yeah. gold edition. Yeah, so, you know, if, if you like gold, you like silver, here's uh, two options for you to to choose from. You know, they, they literally are, I mean, you can say gaudy if you want, but they're definitely blingy. Yeah. I mean, you, you walk up to a poker game and you and you pull out one of these in the, in the uh, unmarked version, and it's definitely going to catch some eyes. Oh, for sure. I mean, it's going to catch eyes no matter where you go. Yeah. It's, it's stunning. And uh, just like the silver edition, the two jokers, one of them is in gold, and then one of them is in black. And then you have the gold foil on the black and gold edition rather than the silver. And it's just so beautiful. Yeah, I love how it carries through like that similar style to both of them. And yeah, the, the intricacy of the, uh, the full size pips on the aces is just so great. Yeah. And the, the one thing that, um, you know, happened with this whole release of this deck is, you know, it took a while to uh, to get fulfilled. Um, but, you know, the, it was definitely worth the wait. Yeah, I mean, that mirror finish on that gold gilding on the side there and the silver even on the other edition are just so, so breathtaking. Yeah, definitely one of my favorite decks uh, that I got into my hands this year. Nice. And for something so... Uh... So standard in the sense that it's going to be a magician's deck, it really just catches your eye in all the right ways. And I think it's something that, you know, even in a routine, the cards are still familiar because it's a standard looking face. Like people might be like, yeah. oh, wow, look at how shiny this is. But that doesn't bring any, you know, mistrust to a spectator because it's just so beautiful. Like it's so beautifully done. 
Yeah, no, for sure. And, you know, it comes uh, in two other editions as well. There's an FU edition, um, which is uh, black edged okay. printing. So it's not gilded, but it has a black edge on it. And uh, it also has a slight black border. Uh, and then there's also the black and white edition, which is your uh, black edged and it's full bleed like these uh, two nice. that we see here. Very cool. Yeah. And just for clarification, for anyone wondering, the FU edition is for Fool Us. So yeah. Yeah, just, just to also, throw that out there. <laughs> it's also called, uh, I believe it's called the Flutterfly. Okay. Or the Flutterfly. Nice. I don't know. It, it's called something like that. It's easier to say FU. But. <laughs> yeah. No, absolutely beautifully designed deck. Andre really knocked this out of the park. So well done. Thanks, everyone, for checking out this episode of Deck and Around Deck Specs. If you haven't already, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel. We drop these every Tuesday, Friday, and Saturday, giving you the newest looks at the freshest decks. So check it out. Peace!